Okay. okay, well, I was too busy playing around with this, everyone. <laughs> we, we may not think about it very much, but did you know in Uganda, if you want to succeed, you have to be able to speak English. Now, many of the children who live away from the main cities don't know the language. And guess what? And this is the became the passion of this man, Tim, okay. here to talk about the ministry he does in Africa. How are you, my friend? I am fine. I'm going to take that off Glad your hands. Okay. I'm sorry about that. That was <laughs> my okay. fault. No okay, let's talk about your mission to begin with. Okay. What is it? Explain to everyone at home. The mission uh, that I found was supposed to be for me was when I went to Uganda to be a principal of a mm. school, of a village school, I found that they were not teaching English, but the school's exit exam was written in English. It was an exercise in futility. Completely. Yeah, yes, and so we thought if we started with the little children, the kids that were in P1, P2, first grade, second grade, and had them learning conversational English, gotcha. then that would help them a bunch. Gotcha. Yeah. Now how did you get started? doing all of this with this project? Well, I was working in Haiti, uh, and I felt the call in a prayer time. I felt the call that I was mm. supposed to go to Uganda, but I didn't know where Uganda was, to be quite honest with you. I knew it was in Africa, but I stepped out on faith, and uh, with the man that I met, he introduced me to a lot of people, and that's how I got there. Yeah. All right. So, look, I want, to ex I want you to explain to everyone, we see a lot of stuff here. Yes. What is it all about? Okay. Explain to us. What well, are you, what this, are you doing this is what it's all about, this picture right here, those, those children. Those up the top. Yes, but these ladies, uh, their moms, make these baskets, and we, we have video some, someplace of them actually making them. The children get the benefit wow. of the moms making the baskets, then we sell them, and then the moms can pay their school fees. That is yeah. amazing. Yes. Amazing. How do the children, how do they work at the center? Okay, they do have to work. Any child that comes to the center has to work. Uh, they play, they learn, they sing songs and so forth, but they have to work. And they love cleaning the center, they love cleaning the walkways. Uganda is a pretty dirty country, but where we are out in the mountains, uh, we have made these rock walkways so the children won't get mud and so forth on them. Tim? Yes. They make these, yeah. where are you selling them all? Actually, and then how do we get the money back there okay. to help you with this? Uh, we sell them anywhere. I take baskets with, with me wherever I go. <laughs> I can tell. Yes, <laughs> we got a bunch of them on the other side. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> because I'm proud of these ladies, this is part of our women's empowerment program. Yeah. And uh, we go to churches, we go to civic groups, we go to people's living rooms, and uh, yeah, we sell them. We sell them uh, on Facebook, and uh, people just buy them. They just great. love them and because love of the them, mission. Yeah. Yes. So what are you doing with the money? The money is used to help these children in our resource center actually have books. The schools have no books, no paper, no blackboards, no anything at all. But when they come to the center, we have a whole library. I told you that we brought 13 suitcases one time over there and they were filled with books that people have given us here. Now the thing is this, these children are dark-skinned children so the books that we take we don't want a light-skinned person with a little bedroom or whatever. We want them to be culturally appropriate because these children can't identify with a child that has their own bed, their own room, curtains on the windows. They have a little mud hut and all of them sleep together, mom and dad and all the kids sleep together. So we want books uh, yeah. that will be culturally appropriate. All right. Yeah. At your resource center, what other programs do you offer there? Okay, we have a Bible study for about 18 or 19 women that are there. Our, our uh, village is made up of Muslim, uh, Hindu, and Christian people. Really? Yes, and, uh, but it's amazing because they all get together. There's, wow. no, there's none of these breakups. Anyway, these ladies come. <coughs> we have a women's empowerment program. We have an ESL, English for a Second Language, for the parents of the kids that are learning English as well. And uh, we have an agricultural program that is fantastic. All right. We're gonna, if you want to help out, everyone, I think this is a wonderful idea yeah, and a wonderful way for you just to spend a couple of bucks and help out someone from overseas. Right. We're going to put up all the information up That's on the great. screen now. There it all is for you, Mr. Mm. Tim. Um, we you. appreciate you coming you. in. What an amazing um, ab adventure that yeah. you're on. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Right. Thank you for coming in and sharing okay. with us. Thank you we so much. We wish you all the best. Okay. Back Thank after you. this short Thanks. break, everyone.